What's up gamers, it's Tom. How's it going? You know what? It is already March and we're looking at a few months into the 2016 pickup season for video games. And if I were to rate it, I'm saying it's going pretty well so far. I mean, these pickups that I'm going to show you right now actually happened in the beginning of 2016. Uh, I think it happened mid-January, beginning of February. I, I honestly don't remember. I tried to film it a few times, but I got backed up with more recent pickups, and I'm like, this one's too big to film. I mean, I haven't even unboxed this stuff yet. Um, yeah, that's how much it is. I'm not saying it's a great pickup. Yes, it's a really, really good pickup. But, you know what? After last year's, I, get, I guess I'm spoiled. I'm always expecting the best pickups ever, every time I go out of my way to get something. And I have to realize I'm not going to get that, especially with the competition nowadays. I am nowhere near going to get what I want anymore. So I should be, really be happy with what I get. Um, but, th but that's the problem with video game collecting. I mean, you always want that epic game. You always want that rare game and a lot. But you got to take what you get. So I should be happy because, I mean, it, it is really cool stuff that I picked up. But um, I don't know. It's just pickings are slim lately. You got to take what you can get, I guess. But um, yeah, I don't know, I'm just depressing myself talking about the end of video game collecting as we know it. I mean... It used to be fun. Now it's not. Now now it's like a job, honestly. Now I have to like work my ass off just to like get a contact back from someone I talked to months ago. Um I guess that's the price to pay. It's a tough hobby. So let's get right into this pickup. And as you know, we start all pickups with our famous world renowned story time. Now, this pickup, like most other pickups I do, this comes from Facebook. Now, Facebook is like my only line of video game sourcing right now. I know yard sale season I mean, is still early March, mid-March, whatever. Yard sale season hasn't really started yet, but I could already tell from last week's uh, episode when I was talking about yard sales, which I will create a video about yard sales. I'm doing it, don't worry, I have a lot in mind to talk about. But it's just, it's not the same anymore with the art sales. You got too much competition out there, so of course I have to deal with Facebook all the time. Facebook is still just as bad, but you, you can get lucky. You just have to keep at it. Um, and I'll talk about that more in the tips and tricks videos. I think I'll start doing like a tips and tricks on how to get video games, but I'm not that good at it. There's better people, trust me. Compare my game room to some other people's game rooms who've been collecting just as long as I have, and they're phenomenal. I, I was lazy in the beginning. I just picked up what I wanted, and I, I didn't go crazy, so I uh, <laughs> I was picking up two games at a time, little did I know that I should have been buying them all because it would have blown up. Anyway, back to the story, I'm going to get sidetracked here. The woman answered my ISO in, in search of, for you less inclined Facebook people, and she said to me, hey, I have a bunch of games. Uh, mostly GameCube, uh, and I have a bunch of Nintendo and Game Boy stuff, but I have I can't find that yet. It's packed away. I was like, okay, why don't you send me pictures of your GameCube stuff? And she was nice enough. Uh, we were talking throughout the day. She's telling me how her kids don't play the GameCube stuff anymore because, of course, they have their Xbox Ones, their X Bones, and um, yeah, they don't touch it. It's just collecting dust. Um, here's the weird part, though. She says, I know how much they're worth. And uh, right, right there, you're like, oh Christ, she's gonna come at me with like a Pac-Man game for 50 bucks because she saw that on Amazon. She's like, I know how much they're worth, but I'm not gonna charge you that because I don't think I can sell all this for what it's worth. She's like, I'm just trying to clear up space in my house, so let's work out a deal. So she starts sending me the pictures, and it's like six pictures stacked of piles of GameCube games. And I'm like, it's the motherload. The motherload of GameCube games. And for those of you that don't know, I recently got rid of my entire GameCube collection to buy some Nintendo games. I, I probably traded and sold. Yes, reseller. Who doesn't sell video games? Okay, here's a sidetrack. Question of the week. Do you sell video games that you've picked up to purchase new video games? Do you consider that reselling? Or do you consider it just feeding a habit? I think it's reselling, I just think it's reselling in a lighter sense of terms. Question of the week, so if you pick up extra games to resell to get more for your collection. There you go. Um, 
so she's where were, what was I talking about before I even got this? <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah, she sends me the pictures. Um, like I said, yeah, I sold my GameCube collection and traded some of it away. So I had no GameCube games. So I'm like, oh, this is a perfect way to get my GameCube games back. So we're talking. I'm at work. Um, we're messaging each other back and forth. Um, she says, how about everything for 300 I'm like, Ugh, can't really throw down $300 right now. I'm like, how about two, and you'll have a customer for when you sell your other games. So she's like, you know what, you got a deal. Because she wants to remind, like, I'll remind myself now that I have to contact her again. To remind her about the other video games she said she'd find. She said she had old school Nintendo, hoping that's either Super Nintendo or NES, and Game Boy stuff that she has to get rid of also. So... We agreed on 200 for everything we're going to see here, and on that note, I lead you right into the hall. Now this is going to be kind of difficult to get through, because if I show you this... Okay, this is one box. That's one box, okay? I have another box right below me, same size, filled with games. All games in those boxes. Not even, like, okay, I'll just show you what I'm talking about. I can't lift it up, so those are all games in there. <laughs> so I have to go through all that. This is why it took me so long to film. But first, I'll show you what I got otherwise. Uh, a bunch of controllers. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And I already traded two other ones. Uh, and I'll tell you about it in a second, but I got two third-party controllers right here. Um, the Dattel brand, I don't know. I will not be using these. Um, don't need them. I have... Sorry, I am I really need to change it where I don't bend over so much in my videos, but... I'll come up with the term. I have a very cluttered desk right now. <laughs> I got two black GameCube controllers. I've got... One platinum colored GameCube controller. Two of these hunky dory microphones for singing your heart out. One wave bird, but here's the thing I had two other wave birds that I already traded away to somebody for uh, some Super Nintendo games. I don't remember which ones. So I had three wave birds total. Uh, not in the picture anymore, unfortunately, because you wanted them quick. But it's always cool to have wave birds. I never really liked the wave bird though. I always felt it was the reception, um, I would always lose my uh, connection to the wireless adapter thing that I was on. Never really worked out that well for me, but hey, maybe you guys liked it, I just never liked it. Give me a good old fashioned wire that you yank out of the console when you get frustrated. That was my thing. Um, one black GameCube. Uh, Okay condition, kind of dirty, it's got a crack on a controller panel, which I'm not really worried about. I mean, I already have two black GameCubes, a purple GameCube, and two silver ones. I don't really need this, I'll probably trade it or give it away. Don't know yet. We have a platinum GameCube. She had two, because she had two kids, and each got one. It's got the uh, GameCube, play the, uh, sorry, the Game Boy adapter on the bottom. She did not have the Game Boy Player disc, unfortunately. Um, if she did, it's in one of the cases that I haven't opened. Maybe I'll get lucky if I do it. I have no idea. But, cool to have the Game Boy player. I did not have one already. I don't know why I didn't have one, but... Something's rattling in here and I don't know what it is. But, she also had... A box. It's got this enormous sticker on it, though I have no idea what the hell that sticker is. But, um, I'll work on peeling it off, but I don't think I can. Box is in meh shape, but I don't have a GameCube box, so it's cool to add to the collection. I always like the GameCube. GameCube is a very underrated system, much like the Wii U is. It sort of goes like Nintendo good, Super Nintendo good, N64 good, GameCube eh, Wii good, Wii U. Eh. I think the Wii U is great. I don't know if people bash it. So okay. First box of games. This is gonna take a while. I'll try to I'll try to get through them as quickly as possible. Because these aren't even the good ones. This is the box of what I call crappy games. Because these are games that are just filler titles basically. Um so how the hell am I gonna do this? <laughs> I do not know how to organize this floor right now because there's so much 
I need to clean my game room. Rule number one. It needs to happen. Anyway, here we go, folks. All the GameCube games I got. I don't know how many in there, but there's a lot. Starting it up. Pac-Man vs. Pac-Man World 2. Never played any of the Pac-Man games, so I can't tell you anything about it. We got another Pac-Man game. We got Pac-Man Fever. Why are there, like, Tekken characters in here? Oh, it's the Battle of the Namco Stars, so well, that's why. I told you, I didn't play any of these games before. Um, Meet the Robinsons. Here's where you could tell this it was like a kitty system for the most part. So I don't know whose games these kitty games were, but whatever. <coughs> uh, Monsters Inc. Scream Arena. Fun stuff. Man, I'm sneezing. This stuff is dusty. <laughs> Hot Wheels World Race. That guy looks pretty cool, actually. I love any racing game. I'm a sucker for all racing games, except for Gran Turismo, which bored me. I need racing games with, like, battling in it. <laughs> we got Frogger's Adventure, The Rescue. You never... Why would they make more Frogger games? I don't know. <laughs> got NFL Street. We have SSX on tour. When I was a kid, I always thought it was, like, sucks. I'm like, what does SSX stand for? I still don't even know what SSX stands for. I can't even tell you. Um, got NASCAR Thunder 2003. Roll with the Thunder. Face to face with the stars. Thunder your way to victory. No thanks. Um, we have Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. I feel like no matter what system I get, I'm always getting a Tony Hawk game. I, I feel like it's unavoidable. And these games too. Madden Sports NFL 2005. I'm gonna have to go through every one of these cases. That's another reminder. Go through your cases when you buy games, because I'm lazy and I don't go through the cases until I get home after I buy it. And there's always games missing, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, backyard baseball. Backyard football. I like these big headed kids playing sports. Nickelodeon Battle for Volcano Island. <laughs> That's a really bad SpongeBob laugh. I take it back. Pretend that never happened. I, just, I can't do impersonations on the spot when I'm recording videos for some reason. I'm really good at impersonations, but I can't do it on video. I'm gonna start practicing like off camera just so I can like have my wife record me while I'm doing impersonations and I won't know about it, but I'll post them. Uh, Major League Baseball 2K6. Uh, All-Star Baseball 2002. I don't understand buying sport games every year either. They're like the exact same thing over and over again. Uh, yeah. Slugfest 2004. What's on the cover? Is that Carlos Beltran? Jim Evans? I don't know. God, these games are dusty. MVP Baseball 2005. Like I said, these are the crappy games. You gotta bear with me. <laughs> oh, another stack. SpongeBob SquarePants. Crusty Crab Creature Thingy, whatever. Nicktoons Unites. Shrek 2. Donkey. Shrek Smash and Crash Racing. This game is one of my favorites. Simpsons Hit and Run. Love any Simpsons game. The Sims. Disney's Extreme Skate Adventure. I don't see how it's extreme in advance of skating with Disney. We have Sonic Heroes. Never played it. Looks like crap. We have the Sonic Mega Collection, which is actually cool because it's got like every single Sonic game on here. Sign me up for that. We have Crash Nitro Kart. Oh my god, it never ends. Why is there like dead bugs in here? Something. I don't know what that is. Uh, Madden 2007. Did I say Madden 2007? I don't know what it said, right? Uh, Home Run King. We've got a World Tour. I don't even know what the hell this is. Flipside, Castle, Coliseum, blah, 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 blah. Looks really bad. Don't care anymore. Lost interest. <laughs> Karaoke Revolution Party. I'm going to do a Let's Play of that. Who wants to hear me sing? I don't know what's happening. 
uh, MC, ooh, MC Groove's Dance Craze, featuring hit songs by Jessica Simpson, Joel, and Kevin Little, Lytle, plus a dance workout mode. Hell yeah! Can't wait for that. The Chronicles of Nernia's. The Lion of Witches in the Wardrobes. Finding Nemo. Who's excited for Finding Dora? Me. Because Dora was awesome. That's why. We have Spider-Man 2. Yeah. We have Spider-Man 1. We've got the Fantastic Four, which I hated. We have Go Go Power Rangers, Dino Thunder. Wasn't this the one that had the guy that killed someone with the sword? Which one? Which Power Rangers is the guy that killed the other guy who actually murdered someone with his, like, sword in his apartment? Please tell me you heard about that and I'm not making it up because some guy, like, really did kill someone with his sword. <laughs> uh, more. Superman Shadow of Apocalypse. Shadow of Apocalypse, okay. We got Star Wars Original Trilogy. Lego Star Wars. Lego Star Wars video game. Nickelodeon Potty Blast. God, so many crap games. ATV Quad Power Racing 2. Almost done with the crap. Almost done with the crap box, people. Almost done. This video's already too long as it is. Madagascar. The Poda Express. Disney Party. I am playing this game as soon as I'm done recording. I am so in the mood for Disney's party. It says, come and join the party with Mickey and his pals. Over 30 excited... It's like Mario Party, which is Disney's party. Yes. Chicken Little. Don't care. And Casper. Casper's a freaky looking ghost. I'm sorry. He looks too sweet and innocent. And you know he's just going to possess you while you sleep and make you murder someone. So that's what Casper does. Now for the good box. <clears throat> okay, box number two. Let's see how quickly I can go through this one. Okay, we've got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. See that? All right, there we go. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. Battle Nexus. We got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Melee. I'm actually excited to play all these Ninja Turtle games because I am one of the hugest Ninja Turtle buffs. I regret incredibly selling all my Ninja Turtle figures for video games. Because it was last year or two years ago at a yard sale, I found like a thousand. That's an exaggeration. Probably like a hundred Ninja Turtle figures, and I just sold them to get video games. But you know what? You gotta do what you gotta do to get video games. Uh, we have Super Monkey Ball. And there go the games. Super Monkey Ball 2. <coughs> I apologize. I am inhaling so much dust from these boxes. Ah. This episode is brought to you by Gold Peak Tea. Tea and lemonade. 3% juice in here. That's a healthy sugar pill drink, isn't it? We got Mario Super Striker Baseball. We have Animal Crossing. No memory card, unfortunately, which I was sad about, but still Animal Crossing. Kirby's Air Ride. We have Digimon 4 Digimon World. I've never seen this game before. Oh, they have they left their paper in there. They left interesting. They left their clue sheet from the game Clue. Interesting. <coughs> that has nothing to do with Digimon. So there's that. We have Pokemon Coliseum. We have Pokemon Gale of Darkness. And we have the Pokemon Channel. What is the Pokemon Channel? I have. What is this? <laughs> is it a bunch of mini games? I have no idea what it is. Don't know. We have Mario Gal Coastal Tour. Super Mario Strikers. I've got like every Mario game with them in here. <laughs> For, uh. For the uh, GameCube, anyway. You got WarioWare Inc. Never played this game, but it looks fun. All Wario minigames are always fun. 
Oh, what is this in? Oh, Spiral Enter the Dragon. That's not a really good game. I don't know. <laughs> we got Super Mario Sunshine. We have... Here we go. Mario Party 4. Mario Party 5. Mario Party 6. They really like their Mario Parties. Mario Party 7. That was it, right? I'm pretty sure that's all the GameCube Mario Parties. We got Mario Kart Double Dash. And the last two, Super Smash Bros. Melee. And the Zelda Collector's Edition. That's it, folks. 200 bucks. Very well spent. Um, it basically recouped my losses from selling my GameCube collection originally. And now I have them all back. So there we go. That's this week's pickup. Um, remember what the question was? Because I don't... I said it in the story time, I think. Um, <coughs> crap. I gotta put all this back and I gotta get all this dust off my hands. So, until next time, guys. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. I love you all. Let's get married, have kids, get a dog, get a house. We we'll all live together in one big happy YouTube family. But seriously, until next time, keep on gaming, guys. Later. Alright guys, it's time to decide the winner of this week's random game giveaway, and here we go. We've got these names coming at ya. Torture Vision, Mega Retro Bros, Retro Hound, Casey the Gamer, Luxness Monster, Tom Hogg 12, Nintendo Hodge, Robert Mitchell, Who the Hell's Chance, Nintendo 13, Timothy Roth, Vigil Gamer, Retro Hound for K, Musty Hobbit, Luke Cross, Water Music Retro, Crazy Pete Punk, Billy Lemons, Retro Power, and Matt and Jalen. Give it a nice little twirly twirl, and there we go. Who's gonna win this? Who's gonna win this thing? I have no idea. For those of you that don't know, I send these out once a month, so we're going to be beginning of the month. You have to wait a while. I send them all in batches because they're just small little knickknacks, but they're video games. I love it. Oh my god, who's winning? You're coming up on the winner. You're coming up on the winner. Water Music Retro! You are the new champion of this week. Congratulations. Uh, send me information and I'll send you a free game, alright? Later, guys. She says, how about everything for 300 I'm like, Ugh. Can't really throw down $300 right now. I'm like, how about two, and you'll have a customer for when you sell your other games. So she's like, you know what, you got a deal. Because she wants to remind, like, I'll remind myself now that I have to contact her again. To remind her about the other video games she said she'd find. She said she had old school Nintendo, hoping this other Super Nintendo or NES, and Game Boy stuff that she has to get rid of also. So we agreed on 200 for everything we're going to see here. And on that note, I lead you right into the hall. Now this is going to be kind of difficult to get through because if I show you this, okay, this is one box. That's one box, okay? I have another box right below me, same size, filled with games. All games in those boxes. Not even, like, okay, I'll just show you what I'm talking about. I can't lift it up, so those are all games in there. <laughs> so I have to go through all that. This is why it took me so long to film. But first, I'll show you what I got otherwise. Uh, a bunch of controllers. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And I already traded two other ones. What's up, gamers? It's Tom. How's it going? You know what? It is already March, and we're looking at few months into the 2016 pickup season for video games and if I were to rate it I'm saying it's going pretty well so far I mean these pickups that I'm going to show you right now actually happened in the beginning of 2016 uh, I think it happened mid-January beginning of February I, I honestly don't remember 
I tried to film it a few times, but I got backed up with more recent pickups, and I'm like, this one's too big to film. I mean, I haven't even unboxed this stuff yet. Um, yeah, that's how much it is. I'm not saying it's a great pickup. Yes, it's a really, really good pickup. But, you know what, after last year's, I, get, I guess I'm spoiled. I'm always expecting the best pickups ever, every time I go out of my way to get something. And I have to realize I'm not going to get that, especially with the competition nowadays. I am nowhere near going to get what I want anymore. So I should be, really be happy with what I get. Um, but, th but that's the problem with video game collecting. I mean, you always want that epic game. You always want that rare game and a lot. But you got to take what you get. So I should be happy because, I mean, it, it is really cool stuff that I picked up. Still just as bad, but you, you can get lucky. You just have to keep at it. Um, and I'll talk about that more in the tips and tricks videos. I think I'll start doing like a tips and tricks on how to get video games, but I'm not that good at it. There's better people, trust me. Compare my game room to some other people's game rooms who've been collecting just as long as I have, and they're phenomenal. I, I was lazy in the beginning. I just picked up what I wanted, and I, I didn't go crazy, so I, uh, <laughs> I was picking up two games at a time. Little did I know that I should have been buying them all because it would have blown up. Anyway, back to the story. I'm going to get sidetracked here. The woman answered my ISO in, in search of, for you less inclined Facebook people. And she said to me, hey, I have a bunch of games, uh, mostly GameCube, uh, and I have a bunch of Nintendo and Game Boy stuff, but I have I can't find that yet. It's packed away. I was like, okay, why don't you send me pictures of your GameCube stuff? And she was nice enough. Uh, we were talking throughout the day. She's telling me how her kids don't play the GameCube stuff anymore because, of course, they have their Xbox Ones, their x Bones, And, um, yeah, they don't touch it. It's just collecting dust. Um, here's the weird part, though. She says... I know how much they're worth, and uh, right, right there, you're like, oh Christ, she's gonna come at me with like a Pac-Man game for fifty bucks. But um, I don't know, it's just pickings are slim lately. You gotta take what you can get, I guess. But um, yeah, I don't know, I'm just depressing myself talking about the end of video game collecting as we know it. I mean, it used to be fun. Now it's not. Now, now it's like a job, honestly. Now. I have to, like, work my ass off just to, like, get a contact back from someone I talked to months ago. Um, but I guess that's the price today. It's a tough hobby. So, let's get right into this pickup. And, as you know, we start all pickups with our famous, world-renowned story time. Now, this pickup like most other pickups I do, this comes from Facebook. Now, Facebook is like my only line of video game sourcing right now. I know yard sale season I mean, is still early March, mid-March, whatever. Yard sale season hasn't really started yet, but I could already tell from last week's uh, episode when I was talking about yard sales, which I will create a video about yard sales. I'm doing it, don't worry, I have a lot in mind to talk about. But it's just, it's not the same anymore with yard sales. you got too much competition out there, so of course I have to deal with Facebook all the time. Facebook is sucks because she saw that on Amazon. She's like, I know how much they're worth, but I'm not going to charge you that because I don't think I can sell all this for what it's worth. She's like, I'm just trying to clear up space in my house, so let's work out a deal. So she starts sending me the pictures, and it's like six pictures stacked of piles of GameCube games. And I'm like, it's the mother load. The mother load of GameCube games. And for those of you that don't know, I recently got rid of my entire GameCube collection to buy some Nintendo games. I, I probably traded and sold. Yes, reseller. Who doesn't sell video games? Okay, here's a sidetrack. Question of the week. Do you sell video games that you've picked up to purchase new video games? Do you consider that reselling? Or do you consider it just feeding a habit? I think it's reselling, I just think it's reselling in a lighter sense of terms. Question of the week, so if you pick up extra games to resell to get more for your collection. There you go. Um, so she's, where was, what was I talking about before I ever got this? <laughs> um, anyway, so, yeah, she sends me the pictures. Um, like I said, yeah, I sold my GameCube collection and traded some of it away. So I have no GameCube games, so I'm like, oh, this is a perfect way to get my GameCube games back. So, we're talking, I'm at work. Um, we're messaging each other back and forth. Um, 